Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're having a good week. Even though our world is still upside down and crazy and so many things are happening, I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're making it. We live in awesome times right now. Everyone thinking about what's going to be happening next week as the votes are taken. I hope that you will go out and vote if you haven't sent your vote in yet. Everyone's vote needs to be heard this year. I want to share something with you from the Bible that I was reading today, and it just struck me. So I want to share with you some names from the Bible. I promise you, these I'm not making them up. These are names from the Bible. And let's see if you know who these people are. So here we go. Let's see if I can pronounce them all. Uh, we have Shemua and Shaphat and Egal and also Palti, Gadiel, See if I can say them all correctly. Amiel, Sether, Nabi, and Geua. Do you know who those folks are? I'll be honest with you. I didn't. I did not know these names. If this would have been a Bible trivia question, I would have got it wrong. But these are the names of the men who were sent to spy out the land by Moses as they were going into the promised land. These were the ones who came back and said, they're too big. We can't go in there. They will squish us like bugs. We can't do it. And I don't know about you, but I don't remember their names. Even though that's a very famous story in the Bible and, and their names are recorded. You know whose names I do remember? I remember Joshua's name. And I remember Caleb's name. Those were the two guys who went and saw the problem, saw the adversity that was ahead of them, but said, you know what? Yeah, they're big and they've got cities and doesn't matter because we got God. And they remembered all the things that God had done for them. And they said, let's go up and let's take the land. But the other 10 said, this is a bad idea. We can't do it. We'll be defeated. We don't remember their names, do we? But we remember Joshua and Caleb. So I just, that struck me today and I thought, you know, what, what is God asking me to do? What is he asking me to trust? Even though I may look at the world and see adversity, I may see problems. I think God is still asking me to trust that he's in control and that he's got this and he's going to move me along. He's going to move us all along, move us all into the promised land someday. He just asks us to trust, to not give up hope that God is still at work. And, and that's in the world, but what about in my life? I've been thinking about those things that God's asking me to do and to trust him. Maybe he's asking you to do something as well. Let's pray that we can all be like Caleb and Joshua, who we still remember those names to this day because they faithfully said, God says we can do it, so we can do it. And let's try to remember to live our lives like that instead of living our lives in defeat and, and calling down on the problems and focusing on the problems and saying it's over, we'll never make it. Like the 10 guys did, whose names we don't even remember. Let's try to be more like Caleb and Joshua, who trusted the Lord, even in troubling times. Well, folks, I hope you're having a good Wednesday, and I hope you have a great rest of the week. You can join us this weekend for church and Sabbath school. Sabbath school at 9.30, it'll be online here on YouTube. Also, it will be in person. And then we'll have our worship service at 11 o'clock. And that's going to be an exciting one. We're going to have Jamie George, an amazing violinist and speaker, is going to be with us. And he's going to be sharing. You can see that online on YouTube or in person. But if you watch online, you got to make sure you watch it at 11 because we'll post it at 11, but we got to take it down when we're done. Those are the rules uh, for Jamie. And so you won't be able to watch it later in the day. Make sure you join us at 11 for that. But I hope you're doing well. Keep in touch with each other. Reach out to others. Let others know how you're doing. Reach out to us. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. But God bless you, friends. Have a great day. Have a great week. Stay safe.